Hello and welcome to Bakewell Builds. This is part two of the modern double barn conversion. So we ended the last episode with me starting the kitchen, attempting it. I had an idea in my head of, you know, I wanted it to be open planned, I wanted it to be white, grey, you know, bringing in those colours and also the brown as well um, from the wood. So a main, you know, important part of this kitchen is going to be the island. I feel like any modern build or interior has this island or, you know, bar kind of thing in the centre of the kitchen. It's such a modern trend at the moment, so of course I had to have this in there. Um, it took me, I didn't know whether to have the, the cooker in the centre or sometimes they have a sink um, and obviously that's one side and then the other side would be the stools. Um, and then this is me literally just figuring out a layout and I'm putting things but I have got to let you into a little bit of a secret. Well, it's not going to be a secret anymore. So I was working on this kitchen area for quite some time, possibly an hour even. And it just wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to be. Like, you have a vision in your head of how you want it to look. It wasn't quite looking like how I wanted it. Um... Despite it being quite a big area that I was working with, it still felt really cramped and I was using quite a lot of whites and greys as well so that didn't make a difference. Like if I use black obviously that's going to make the room feel smaller. So, and I even tried putting in a dining table because of course I wanted to have like a breakfast area but it was just so tiny and for quite a big luxury place. It just wasn't working at all it was too cramped and I was like oh this is so annoying um, eventually I left it and I came back a day later and um, sometimes you have to do that with builds because otherwise you get frustrated and you never finish them trust me I've got loads of builds that I haven't finished so yeah a day later I came back I had an idea this is it now so my idea was to get rid of that pantry bit that was there I liked the idea but I needed more space basically so as you can see I know there's a lot moving around but I've obviously moved the kitchen back now so I've got rid of that pantry area but there is this space under the stairs which could be changed into the pantry area like it's just like that would work so much better so this now is me obviously altering the layout I decided I didn't like those shelves over the kitchen like th I don't know why but the first time I did it I thought it matched the flooring but then when I looked at it again I realized it literally did not match at all so I decided to go in with these black cabinets um, and then I was oh, I'm gonna put in this window but in the end I don't actually have a window um, but it's usually because you have like a window where the sink is, like that's quite a common thin thing even. I attempted using a window, but in the end I just didn't have a window in that area. Um, I mean, you've got those big windows anyway, so you didn't really need it. Um, so the idea I had that kind of changed <laughs> was, again, another common trend at the moment is having um cupboards that kind of go all the way around and they tend to be one color so in this case black and then you've got obviously your counters in the middle but it kind of all just looks really really framed might insert a picture because again i don't explain things very well so that was kind of my vision for that i still wanted to have the island um but my, my aim was to make sure that I could get a dining table in, so like a breakfast table. Um, so that was my goal. I'm pottering back and forth at the moment because I realised that the walls didn't like go completely up to the ceiling. So I had to work on that, obviously. 
um, when you notice something you've kind of just got to get done straight away otherwise you forget I also noticed that for some reason some w uh, doors were missing I don't I have no idea why but they were missing so I went and put them back in I was trying to work out what to do with these beams as well at that um, open balcony bit but I've just left them um, in the end oh and the door so my dad watched my video and he loved the build that was all fine apart from the door he was like the door isn't right the door 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 and I was like do you know how long it took me to find a door literally there's not a door that I liked so I've just changed it but it will probably change again he said that the the modern doors um, were too much like a back door but I was like they're huge who would have these massive doors as a back door I don't know let me know what you think do you think it should stay as the original door or should i use the current door or just give me advice please i don't know what door to use <laughs> um so you saw me then i was just fiddling with like the pantry area and what would be the toilet i was trying to like figure out if i could fit in a laundry room but it was too small way too small so i've just gone with splitting up splitting it up like that um in another build that i've got coming out to you soon um I'll let you into a little insight of the video. It's I'm basically copying a floor plan and design of a build um, that I found on Pinterest. I just picked any random build and I follow, followed the floor plan of it um, as best as I can because obviously there's some things you can't always do in Sims. Um, and one thing that I thought was strange, well not really strange but it was probably an American bill, um, yeah, American bill, because the laundry room was actually upstairs, like, it was connected to a, I don't think it was connected to a bathroom, but it was just upstairs, it had, like, its own room, and also, have you seen those bathrooms in Germany, they have the, la they have their washing machine in the bathroom, like, that makes more sense, doesn't it, like, why do we, why do us Brits have the washing machine in the kitchen like, like I can understand like if you're taking it outside to hang on the line but it just makes sense I don't know anyway <laughs> anyway back to this build I thought maybe the laundry room could go upstairs or it could go somewhere else like it doesn't need to be near the kitchen so yeah <laughs> anyway back to the kitchen as well I'm trying to find out again whether to use, I couldn't decide whether to have the stove on that wall or to have it on the island. I did. I do go with having the stoves, I did two because I felt like that would be more, because it's a bigger place. Um, and I wanted this big island so I'm trying to like, figure out how to do it like it, you can't actually do these big islands so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing I'm just pressing option I think it's option or control that's to move it freely so I could um, get to that big island and then I was thinking fridge fridge is always a weird one because I always feel like it's out of place like it never quite looks right um, like it doesn't look right in that but I, I think I get another fridge and put it on the other side. I think I do anyway. That was me deciding not to have any windows because it just wasn't working. Um, but you can see that frame I was on about, like the frame of the counters. Um, yeah, so that is, it did come out how I liked it, really. Just doing the pantry now, just putting everything in. Like, you don't need a planetary in Sims, like, obviously, but just, <laughs> why not? Like, I just, part of the design, isn't it? Oh, that was the double fridge that I did. It's actually kind of handy, though, having a planetary, um, because you can literally just shove in all the cluttery bits that make the kitchen look, oh, cluttery. <laughs> um, so, it just makes it look more modern and sleek, I guess. So this is me literally just fiddling around with this bloody island. 
Oh, problem is when you move it, you've got to move everything and then put things back into place. But I think I think it stays like that. Does it stay like that? Possibly. Now I'm doing the lights. <laughs> it might have been a little bit of a pain having to not start the kitchen again, but move the kitchen into the pan pan pantry area. How do you even say pantry? Is it pantry? I mean, I guess in Britain we don't even have pantries, do we? But anyway, <laughs> going off on a tangent, you know what I mean. Um, but I was actually really happy with the kitchen in the end. I mean, I'm so used to adding colour to my builds. But the whole point of this was kind of, like, really modern. But I'm still thinking, do I add colour? Oh, oh, I don't know. Um, I'm sure we'll see as we go along. I mean, I'm, I probably will have colour in, like, the living room. You kind of have to, like... I don't understand these people that live in these modern builds and it's literally just like white and grey, like it's just white, grey and black, like I just don't get it, I just don't get it. I, th yeah, so I added in greenery because I thought that would add a bit of colour to it. Um, I mean you got the colour of the fruit bowl. <laughs> oh dear. So I managed to lose, lose the footage of uh, the basement so I started doing the basement you can probably see actually outside the windows there's a fence so basically I kind of extended the basement so there's windows um, I'll show you more in part three because that's probably when we're going to be focusing more on the bedrooms but yeah I don't know how I lost the footage but there, it's literally me just built, like, I, I didn't, like, put anything inside. I literally just built the walls. So, <laughs> you didn't really miss out on much. Um, but I'll show you when we get to that part, what I, what I did, basically. <laughs> so, now we have an area for the dining table. Exciting. So, I'm just finding a rug that will go. Um, I liked that one in the end. Um, again, it's so strange not adding colour, like, I'm just doing whites, blacks and greys. And that is a big table as well. Oh, and then I decided to bring that table in, and then I changed the, t um, changed those chairs, right? No, I'm pretty sure. Uh, deciding takes forever. Oh, I went with those ones in the end. But yeah, so actually, it's me. it's actually pretty incredible how pushing the, um, the kitchen back to where that pantry was, how much space we've given, us, given ourselves. To be honest, I don't know why I did it in the first place. I think I was kind of like, oh yeah, that would be a good space. But actually, having that space like under the stairs actually works really well. I did have to change the order of the beams. I, have I done that already? Yes, I have. So I don't know if you can see the beams are obviously in different places and I have to go to the other side then to change the beams but yes I did that and I did prefer it before but I prefer the kitchen now so doesn't really matter I guess you've got to win some you lose some um just putting lights everywhere just so I can see what I'm doing I also noticed when I was editing the previous the part one um I realised you couldn't really see what I was doing half the time because I didn't even have lights put in place yet. Um, so I'm making sure that I put the lights in so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is me changing the beams as I was saying. Um, the idea, so I I was thinking for this conservatory area doing a di another dining table but like a proper dining area not like a breakfast area. Um, or I was just doing the decking there. Um, and then I was thinking maybe I should do a bar. Um, I don't know, I was just thinking of different things to break it up really. Because I actually have got a lot of space to work with. Looks pretty good from this angle, doesn't it? <laughs> I think once the landscaping is done, it will look more realistic and it just look much nicer really, won't it? <laughs> okay so now that I'm almost done with the kitchen I have this little like hallway space 
um, obviously where the stairs are there's two sets of doors and the doors that go the door that goes to the bathroom so I thought I could just you know do what you usually do in a hallway you've got you usually have like a side cabinet um, my I've just got a side table and a mirror there and then I've also put a bookshelf and another rug um, but it was still looking quite open and I know it's quite usual with a modern space to have these well <laughs> open spaces but I decided to put in some chairs just as a little seating area I suppose again from doing this from doing this voiceover I'm watching the video back and I just really want to add colour now I want to go back and add colour I'm just such a colourful person like I always add colour to my builds and my interiors if you've seen my gallery yet on the Sims 4 gallery my username is hbakewell01 you would know because literally all my builds have lots of colour inside so it is a bit of a challenge for me to work with just whites, greys and blacks and in this case also wood tones as well I mean I probably am going to add colour like in the living room and the dining room I will continue adding plants throughout so that will add colour itself um, but let me let me know in the comments what do you think do you think this build needs colour or do you think you know it works well with just the tones that I already have let me know <laughs> I'm pretty much done with this little area I've added some plants some more decor into that bookshelf um, I can't really remember what I do next I think it's time to do the bar because you know a house isn't complete without a bar <laughs> well I'm doing the door first again help me with the doors I, d I might actually buy a new pack especially so I can get the door just right the I know that they have discounts at the moment but I'm trying to save my pennies but it's tempting isn't it it is very very tempting so I was just fig figuring out where I would put the bar I mean it's quite a slim space isn't it and I didn't want to block the windows um, and to be honest, I didn't know what I'd do with the space otherwise. Like I was just gonna do like a little lounge, a small lounge looking out into the out to the garden. And also um, a dining room. I know we've got the table in the living room. In the living room? <laughs> I know we've got the dining room in the kitchen, but that's more of a breakfast table and because we've got all this space, you know, we might as well do like a proper dining room as well. So I've started building some walls as well because I thought I'd put the bar into this little corner um, or the little hallway space. Um, so I'm literally just filling around. I don't actually go with this in the end. So I'm not sure how long this build is going to take. Um, obviously this is part two. I'm hoping that the room the bedrooms the lounge the dining like i'm hoping that will all be quite quick i feel like because the kitchen i to be fair that did take me quite a while because i i do like to go back and forth and until i'm happy but with the bedrooms and that it's quite basic as long as the as long as the floor plan of it's okay I like to work with if you get what i mean um but then again this bar area is taking me ages Ah, uh, but this is the position that it stays in. I promise you, I'm pretty sure. Am I lying? Am I lying? I can't remember now. No, I'm pretty sure it stays there. <laughs> oh dear. So basically, I don't know how long this um, part series is going to be. I'm planning on, on uploading some other builds as well because you probably get bored seeing the same build over and over, and over again. Um, I mean, obviously, it is... The progression of it like it's not like you're watching the same video um but even with like building it i get a little bit bored so i like to work with other builds um and then once i've built something i'm like okay let's go back to this barn if you get what i mean so i'm hoping it will work like that 
Um, I know this video is probably going to be uploaded probably not till a week after the first up upload. I don't have any Wi-Fi at home. Um, at the moment I'm using my dad's 4G to upload the videos and it's taking forever for them to upload. Like, my, my vlog that I uploaded was only 10 minutes long, I think. Oh no, it was like 5 minutes long and that took like half a day. So you can imagine a 25 minute long video taking quite a long time so I apologize for that but it is what it is isn't it so I will try my best to get the uploads consistently up there as long as they're uploading I don't see it being a problem when they upload if you get what I mean um I'm also still doing my a-level art oh my god that came out weird <laughs> my a-level art coursework so that is my main focus at the moment getting that done it's all due 4th of May so once it's over and done with don't have to think about it again and I can focus on the YouTube channel so fingers crossed why am I saying fingers crossed fingers crossed I get it done well yeah that is true fingers crossed I do get it done I mean we have had extended time because of quarantine because of the coronavirus so in that in a, in a sense I've been lucky is, mm, is that a way of, great way of putting it probably not but I have had more time so Hopefully I get that B because I probably would have got a D if I didn't do the extra work that I've been doing. Oh dear. Um, but because that's been my main focus, obviously, I'll try my best with the uploads and I keep updated with when they're going to be uploaded on my Instagram. So bakewells underscore builds so you can be updated there. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. We've managed to do a bar area. We'll add some more detail to that in the next episode. I thought this would be a good ending point, so next episode we can do the lounge, both lounges, and hopefully start the bedrooms, oh, and the dining room as well, so hopefully we'll get that done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.